Hello and welcome back to Train Simulator Classic and welcome back to the final showdown of the World Cup race. Now in my last video, you remember that the United States and Great Britain tied at 20 points and Germany only had 14 points, which is a bit of a shame. So Germany is automatically put as last but third place, but at the moment we have a tie between uh, the United States and Great Britain. So we need to have a winner and we have to have a loser. And that's what this video is all about. So to make it interesting, we have one steam, one diesel and one electric representing uh, two countries, the United States and Great Britain. And again, this is it. There has to be a winner and there has to be a loser. So this race is all about who's coming in second and first. So let's meet the trains we're gonna be racing today. Now in Team Electric Trains, representing the United States of America, we have once again the Acela Express because it is one of the fastest high-speed trains in America. So I thought we'll give uh, the Americans uh, a second chance with the uh, Amtrak Acela Express. And for Great Britain, we have a wonderful Class 800. Although I think this is a Class 801. Yeah, this is a Class 801. My apologies. In a beautiful and wonderful LNER livery. It, it does look very sleek and very gorgeous. Now, for the diesel power, we've got something a little bit interesting because uh, I've never actually raced one of these trains before. So this might be uh, this might be good or it might be completely rubbish. We don't know. So representing diesel for America, we have what's called a PRR DR6 for 2000. I, I don't know what I don't know anything about this uh, uh, this type of locomotive, but it's big, it's huge. But the question is, is it fast? We don't know, but that's that's what we're going to try out today. And for diesel power for Great Britain, it's a classic Class 50. I mean, you can't go wrong with a classic Class 50, can you? I think uh, they might do a good job, but we don't know. And representing steam power for the United States of America, we have one of my favourite American locomotives, which is a Union Pacific 844. Now, for me, the Union Pacific 844 is actually one of my favourite American uh, locomotives in the world. Although, to be honest, it is sort of like inside the platform because this thing is just super wide and representing great britain for steam power yep you guessed it it's a classic lner a3 flying scotsman but this time i thought we'd have smoke deflectors and two tenders so it's it's got a lot really and even with the second tender the union pacific 844 is a giant compared to flying scotsman i mean look at that that is absolutely insane that is insane of how big american steam trains are so there we go. We've met the trains that we're going to be racing today. Now, what are the results going to be? I actually have no idea because I actually filmed these races as they, as they actually happen. We could end up having another tie. If we do, that'll be pretty embarrassing and pretty annoying. But we have to have a loser and we have to have a winner. So Team America versus Team uh, England. Uh, Great Britain, whatever. There you go. Uh, we need to do some programming. So, um... How do I do program? Oh, yeah, we need to go to the world editor. No, I've got... Shh, I, know, I know what I'm doing. Right, so the first engine we need to program is, I believe, is the Flying Scotsman. So, Flying Scotsman engine number one on platform one. Yes, and we'll have you at 100% power. And then Union Pacific 844, engine two on platform uh, two. And we'll have you at 100% power as well. Uh, class 50, which I believe is uh, Loco 3 on platform 3 with 100% uh, power. And then the Pennsylvania American uh, diesel thing. I forgot, I forgot what it was already. We'll just call it the Pennsylvania diesel. That's 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 all I can remember. 100% uh, power as well. And uh, the Class 801 engine 5 on platform uh, 5. We'll have you at 100% power as well. And the Acela Express Engine 6 on platform 6. Yes, and we'll have you at 100% power as well. Now, normally, I would drive the Superclass 47. But this time, I'm not actually going to be driving the Superclass 47. I'm actually going to go on free camera so I can uh, quickly move from loco to loco uh, more quicker. And, just more, and it just makes it a lot more easier. So there you go, programming is done and we are ready for racing, my friends. So we're gonna click, uh, pl I actually wanna get like a good shot. I'm gonna go all over here and zoom in because I actually wanna get like a cool shot of all of the trains 
moving out from the, the starting line. So ready? Here we go. Click play. Are you ready to save? Yes. Let's get racing. And we're off. Big, huge toot of the Union Pacific 844. Uh, the, uh, ooh, the uh, Celo Express is, as, as we know, is the fastest accelerating uh, train of all time. Well, that we know of. Uh, the Pennsylvania Diesel for the United States of America is pulling away, pulling away very fast, followed by the Class 50. Flying Scotsman is uh, kind of in sync with the uh, Class 800. That's actually a really cool looking site. Uh, Union, Pacific, Union Pacific, sorry, 844 is in uh, last place. Uh, Flying Scotsman has got a good start, but is it going to be enough? We don't know. Uh, class 801, uh, it's quite a slow starter. It's not as fast as the uh, um, Acelo Express, but will she catch up? We have no idea. And you know, for an electric train, the uh, Class 801 is, is is quite slow starting. I mean, Flying Scotsman, even bear in mind she's a steam engine, is um is sort of in sync with the Class 801 at the moment, which is uh, that's quite interesting actually. I'm just, just not the microphone. Good job, Oliver. So we're gonna go all the way up here to where the Acelo Express is. I'll just wait for the world to load. Um, this thing doesn't have any sound. Why is this thing? Well, it, it does have sound. It's just the sound's very weird and quiet. I mean, that thing is um, doing full speed. That's looking good. What about the other train? So, you know, the Acela Express has got a massive lead. We all know that. Uh, in second place uh, is the Class uh, 50. Oh, hello. That's interesting. I, I didn't was not expecting the Class 50 to be that fast. And in the distance is the Class 801 going at some tremendous speed. And the Pennsylvania uh, Diesel from America. And also the Flying Scotsman. Uh, Flying Scotsman is going a lot more faster than the Pennsylvania Diesel. Uh, Union Pacific 844, for some reason, isn't doing that well. I mean, um, it, again, she might catch up. She might not. But looking on the bridge, uh, the uh, Acelo Express has got a tremendous lead. And in the distance, I see the uh, Class 801 catching up to the Class 50. This is more like it. Oh, look at the speed of the Class uh, 801. And for some reason, there's no sound. There's no sound for the Class 50, and there's no sound for the... Uh, the class uh, 801. I think there's. I think there might be a slight sound glitch uh, in today's uh, race because there's, there's supposed to be like an engine sound coming from the class 50, and yet there's nothing. So there's a bit, bit of a bit of a sound glitch. Oh, actually no. The Pennsylvania Diesel uh, has sound. Um, I'm not sure the Union Pacific uh, 844 has any sound. There's, there's a lot of uh, sound bugs today. So here is the Acela Express entering uh, the downward spiral in uh, in first place. And I think in second place is the class 801. Uh, third place is probably the class 50. And fourth place is probably, I could be wrong, uh, might be the Flying Scotsman, I think. Um, yes, it is. Interesting. So we can actually see the uh, Acela Express and the class 801 uh, parting ways. Looks very cool. Uh, where is the class 50? There it is. Has she got her sound back? Let's have a listen. Yep, the sound. Apparently, the sound is back now. The. Uh, a little bit of a, of a bug there, but never mind. So let's have a look at the Fly Scotsman. How's she doing? Even though she has got a second tender, and she's actually doing quite well. Going uh, quite fast there, looking very nice. Got like a really cool shot of the uh, Acela Express and Flying Scotsman. <laughs> that, that looks... It's so cool that this racetrack has like a, an upper level and a lower level, so you can actually see the trains part ways. Uh, I, I think it's fantastic. And I see the Union Pacific 844. Uh, it's not doing that well. Um, there's the Acela Express again. And also the Pennsylvania Diesel thingy. I forgot what it was called. Um, for some reason, it's in last place. So it's um, it's not actually doing very well as I hoped. I mean, I, th I thought it would be quite fast, but no. For some reason, it it's, it's quite slow. I did program these right, didn't I? Every, every train is on 100% uh, power. I, I did program it, program it right, didn't I? I think so. So the Acela Express is now in the, uh, the Snaky Valley, because if we actually look on the map, uh, where are we? Uh, it is a bit of a bit of a sneaky valley, isn't it? But she's already out of it. Fantastic. Uh, who's going to be the next in the valley? Uh, is the class 801? Do you know what? I think she might be catching up the class 801 to the uh, Acela Express, but I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know how fast these trains are going. But Flying Scotsman is doing that at some great speed. But if we actually look on the upper level, the Union Pacific 844, um, I'm not sure if it's going as fast as Flying Scotsman, but it's still going at some good speed. But will it be enough? I don't think so. Um, oh, <laughs> there's another sound glitch for uh, the Flying Scotsman, but never mind. So let's have a look at the Class 801. Uh, it looks amazing as ever. Got some great sound effects too. I mean, I can't, cannot deny that. I mean, I do, I do love uh, the, uh, the Class 800. 
shorts. Uh, they, they do look very nice, very sleek, and uh, they do look they do look pretty fast over there. I mean, well, they are pretty fast. But anyway, uh, in first place is the uh, Amtrak Acela Express. Uh, very good. But I can actually see the class 801 closing the gap. I think if we had a much more longer racetrack, maybe the class 801 might have beaten the, uh, the Acela Express. I mean, sh could we make the racetrack longer? We could. But shall we? Nah. So stop it by the buffers, Amtrak Acela Express, I believe, is in first place. So that means that's five points uh, to the uh, Americans for the electric uh, trains. And uh, for uh, coming in second is, you know, we'll, we'll give it three points for the, uh, for the Azuma LNER Class 801. So at this precise moment, the Americans are actually winning with uh, 25 points and Great Britain has 23 points. But is that enough? Can the Americans hold their lead? Find out. Okay, coming up in third place, which also means that this is uh, first place as well because it's the first diesel to arrive, is the Class 50. But because the Class 50 is the fastest diesel, uh, that's first place, that's another five points which gives Great Britain uh, oh, hold on, maths. Uh, 28 points. But the Americans are still on 25, so they're not out just yet. I guess it just comes down to the uh, faster steam train now, I suppose. In fact, I actually hear a steam train coming from the distance. Who is it? Is it the Union Pacific uh, 844? Or is it... It is! It's the Flying Scotsman! Apparently, the Flying Scotsman is faster than the Union Pacific 844, which means that's another five points for Great Britain. Looking very nice there, Scotsman. Just park it there. Looks very good and very well done. So if I'm correct, Britain has a mind-blowing 33 points. But now we have to wait for the American Diesel, which is the Pennsylvania uh, D. R6, I think that's what it is. And also the Union Pacific 844. Right, approaching the finish line is the Union Pacific 844. Um, is it me or does it look like it's got a steam leak? Because I can actually see steam leaking on one of the pipes. I mean, is that normal? I mean, I'm, I'm no American steam train expert, but is that normal? Is it is it leaking steam? Is that why it's so slow? But never mind, the Union Pacific 844 has made it, so uh, let's give her some congratulations of being, um, hold on, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, it's the fifth, it's the fifth fastest of the, of the trains we have today. But watch this, I mean, given the size of this uh, incredible locomotive, look how much space uh, it's, 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 it's going to take up, there we go, oh, it's letting out a lot of steam, uh, but it's made it, well done. Uh, it's back at the finish line. Oh, a bit, bit of a toot there. I just noticed the lights come off. That's that's actually quite clever. The light actually turned itself off. Hmm, quite like that. And in last place, you can see just in the distance, is the uh, Pennsylvania uh, DR6 something it, i'm actually reading it off wikipedia because i don't know what i don't know what this is but to be honest the reason why i chose it is because it looked fa it looked fast and i thought oh this might uh give the americans some chance but there you go i was badly wrong i've been wrong many times and it's one of those days where i'm actually wrong again I'll just park it in between the class 801 and the class 50 very nice look at the size of this diesel it's amazing isn't it but there we go Batting up all the scores, and we do have a winner. And the country that has won the World Cup race is Great Britain. So there are the scores. We've added them all up with Great Britain having 33 points and the United States with only 31 points. But it's, it, it was still a good race. That we, we, it was still quite close. Only by two points out. But there you go. The final showdown is officially over my friends we do have a winner great britain with uh, with the most points uh in second place is the united states of america and in third place is germany but that was already concluded from the start well from the start of this video not from the start of the world cup it's it's, it's very confusing but which train do you guys think is the best leave your answer in the comment section down below i'll be sure to read it 
Make sure you click that subscribe button, turn the bell notification on as well so you stay notified to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! these things sort of